Today we are starting installation. This is what you call a vapor barrier, so it's like a piece of paper. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Nico's Property Show. I am super excited today, and I'm wearing one glove by the way. Um, you know, keep one hand warm, keep one hand cold, so it's like a good mixture. But regardless, I'm super excited because today we are starting insulation. We're gonna get the entire house insulated. Um, we're actually using the regular fiberglass stuff that looks pink, and if you've ever touched it, it itched like crazy when you were a kid. That's the stuff we're using, and I'm really excited for it. The guys just showed up. Should be maybe a one day, one and a half day job. That's gonna be awesome. Loving the progress of the house so far. Uh, if you've been watching, we've gotten the hardy done. We've got all kinds of things done so far. But right now, insulation is important. Um, can't wait to get through all that pass inspection and then be able to finally put that drywall or sheetrock up, whatever you may call it. So let me get inside the house, get these guys working. They're about to unload the truck and we're just gonna keep progressing. So the first step the guys are actually going to start with while insulating is an all season foam sealant. So they're going to go through and make sure that if there's any like lines or anything where they can see some light coming through or anything, um, just to give you an idea. So I'm not talking about it. Um, so this is what the foam ends up looking like. They're going to go on the outsides to make sure no air is getting through those outlets. As you can see, it's going around the windows right there. That's what you're going to do first. And then that's when they'll put in that, I believe it's R13 or R19, I can't remember. I think it's 13, R13 um, insulation actually in the walls. But right now he's making sure that all these windows are taken care of and that there's nothing getting through. So you got him working right there. He's putting on the stilts here in the back and they're just going to get all this knocked out, get everything really insulated very well so that this house is nice and tight and getting along all these different edges along the window. And again, any outlets or anything that may be letting through something and through the ceiling there as well. So that's pretty crazy. They move on those better than I move on my own two legs, but I'm excited to see the progress that they get done. Alrighty y'all, so I'm gonna show you, they're actually done putting that spray foam along all the cracks or anything like that where something could get through. And I'll kind of give you a little tour here as well. They went into the guest bathroom. Um, as you can see, there it is, all the way down along the edges, the walls, around the window. Um, this is bedroom number two. Same thing going on here, as you can see, all the way around. Did it around the windows as well. There it is. And then going into the living room, same exact idea. You can see it there around the doors. And I'll get up closer just so you can see. I think it's probably dried out. 
Yeah, so that's what it feels like. It literally just feels like foam, kind of like styrofoam. Um, it's pretty solid, really quick. And yeah, so they got it going around and they're actually starting with the, um, the fiberglass stuff, the R13 right there. And definitely wear gloves, don't touch it because it was always itchy as a kid. And they'll actually put strips in every single little area right there. And then they'll be able to fit these full ones in between the actual two by fours. They actually make it like that standard so that it fits perfectly, which I can show you right here, the other guy working on it. And you see they're wearing a mask so that you don't inhale that stuff because it can uh, be very bad for your health. There it is. Let's get this process. I'm excited. Alrighty y'all, so right now they're about at a halfway point on the house of getting all this insulation put in. So this is my office space right here and I'll kind of just skip through the walls here. This is my master closet, getting that exterior wall done. That's my shower area and then my toilet area and then right there where that standalone tub is. Going into my master bedroom, they've got all that done. And then if we go into the pantry, now this is done. Got the front of the living room done and they still got to fill in all the top spots. This is just where they can reach. So as they're moving on and they're progressing, they're doing whatever they can reach at this moment. So he's starting on guest bedroom number one here in the front of the house. And um, it looks like they might be done today. I think they will be. So we'll see how this goes and we'll just keep progressing.
Alrighty y'all, I wanted to show you what this was right here. So this is like a styrofoam, um, I guess you could say contraption here. Um, and they said it's called a baffle. So what they do with these is they actually put them here in the, um, right above the ceiling. So kind of where this angle right here is coming down. So they put, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here already. So when it gets really hot in the summer, there's air that helps, you know, um, go through that area right there. So it's called a baffle. And he said that it just allows entry of air and kind of cools everything down in the attic and they're literally just styrofoam so i'll just grab one again just so you see they're kind of flimsy but they allow that airflow and allow everything to get through there and then right here on this side um that enters into the garage they actually added some um that have this like paper which is kind of like a vapor barrier um these you see they don't have them but on this side they do because there's actually um no you know osb like there is on the other side of this wall right here so i'm actually going to stop recording for today and i'll see you here tomorrow Alrighty, y'all so it is the next day and guess what all of the insulation is finished for the walls and right there where those rafters are as well so we're going to go inside my front door which i absolutely love but anyways this is about insulation not my front door so we're going to step inside here and i'm going to give you sort of like a tour at this point because now with the insulation up it kind of brings the home in with all just the wood and everything like that with all the two by fours that were just exposed without any insulation it kind of seemed like your eyes keep going right but now with the insulation here we're in certain rooms okay so right here i'm in my living room so this is the mtv cribs tour of nico's property show okay so this is going to be my living room and we're going to have a nice tv right here and the insulation actually goes on the exterior walls that's why you see nothing here because this doesn't need to be insulated because we're going to have heating and air working within these walls so you don't have to have that but with the outside air with the outside walls you want to make sure that you're protecting you know how we started with two by fours then that osb then the tyvek then the hardy siding and now this adds that extra layer of insulation that allows everything and this is fiberglass so this allows everything to kind of stay as tight as possible not let any air through or anything like that so it does its best obviously it's not perfect but with heating and air that's why your house can stay regulated and it's not working overtime and really 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 hard so we're gonna go into my kitchen area and you're gonna kind of see a couple of these on the interior wall i think they just kind of had a few extra so they were like hey we'll just put them up anyway but then the ones on the top actually what their purpose is they're actually protecting the inside interior house from that attic space so that air is not actually getting released into the attic space because these are 10 foot walls right here with 10 foot going to nine foot like the rest of the house, you need to close that space off. You can't just have it open because then air could escape to the attic. So I'll show you my guest bedrooms real quick. And I don't wanna make this tour too long, but I did wanna explain a few things because sometimes if you've never been in construction, you're like, man, how does insulation even work? It's kind of confusing. So I've just been around it for a long time um, with my family being in construction, but guest bedroom number one, good space here. Insulation's all done around the exterior walls and you can kind of see it if you swing around so that I don't actually have to go in the bathroom. It's all done throughout there. So where the bathtub is, and I'll actually go through the two by fours here, where this exterior wall is when I was at a point where I'm like, man, this is gonna be great because this is a great spot for a bathtub. We're sitting here, you got a nice little window. So some fresh light's gonna be coming through and you're gonna be nice, comfortable, insulated. And then you got a little bit right here blocking off the other room. So that works out too. So they had a little bit extra. They're like, why not put it in there? I'll take it, you know? And a great company came out to do the work. So anyways, now you're coming into this next guest bedroom and it's all done through here. And if you kind of point the camera up and I explained this in the earlier part of the video, but it allows air to flow, especially in the summer when it's really hot, when the attic needs some airflow, the wind can seep up under those things and those are just styrofoam. So it allows air to flow through that and keep the attic kind of, you know, regulated with a little bit of cool air. So let's head to the other side of my house and we'll go into my master bedroom, my pantry, entry and then my office my master bathroom my closet i mean this is a house tour that's what i said so we're touring my house pantry space okay a little bit different here i had a quick explanation for you but this is what the point is this is what you call a vapor barrier. So it's like a piece of paper. On the other side is the fiberglass that you see like this. And this stuff, you don't wanna touch it. Once it gets on your body and stuff, it really, really itches and then you start touching your eyes. And I tell that from personal experience as a child, you start touching your eyes, you start scratching and then all of a sudden your body hurts. You gotta think it's fiberglass. So it's a bunch of little pieces of stuff that really itches. But this vapor barrier allows for this to be kind of like the outside here with the Tyvek, the OSB and everything like that. So it's keeping that outside air, which is called non-heated space 
from the heated space separate. So we'll go into my master bedroom here as well and kind of show you how it went along in here. So you've got all the exterior walls through here around the windows. And I told you about the little spray foam they were using. Um, so they were making sure that they were knocking out any little crevices that may or may not have been left open, you know, maybe with, you know, someone cutting the paper or the siding or something like that. But then they do that and then they clean it up really nice so that you can actually put your casing around it and dress up that window how you want with the sheetrock and everything like that. So at this stage, once you pass inspection, which I've already submitted for, you can then do the drywall install or the sheetrock as some people call it. So here I'm in my bathroom, same exact concept all the way around, going into my uh, master closet right there, almost a pantry. I'm not gonna have food in my bedroom, I promise. <laughs> Sometimes you need it at night though. But anyways, closet done, um, my office there, and we'll actually go around just so I can show you um, the different type over here as well because it is connected to the garage and then we'll finish off in the garage as well. So I'm here in my utility room and again, you've got the paper on this side, so that vapor barrier, um, and it works really well. So, you know, having good heating and air systems and everything like that, being able to have this right here, I'll be working here a lot. So I will wanna make sure I'm comfortable in my office. I'm really excited for this space, y'all. Like literally, it's just big enough. It keeps you tight. It's gonna be nice and good. I don't have TVs anywhere, but this is about insulation. So let's go back in the garage, or let's go out in the garage and check this out. So we're gonna finish off in here. And this space looks pretty darn good. So as he swings around with that camera, you'll see these walls here don't have it, okay? Typically, your garages are not insulated. Depends on the style of the house, the amount that you spend on the house and everything like that. So if you live in a house right now and it's not over like 550,000 to $700,000, um, your garage is probably not insulated. Most people don't insulate garages for the simple fact that your garage is usually warmer. You have a garage door on it, especially in the summer. It's like, hey, do you really need air blowing in your garage for your car? Probably not. In the winter sometimes, you know, your, your garage might be about 10 degrees colder than the inside of your house, which is okay, right? You're getting in your car, you're leaving. That's the blessing of having a garage, right? So you'll see that these walls are actually connected to the interior of the house. So that heated space needs to have that insulation. The outside wall doesn't because there's nothing out there. You're not living in that space. That's, you know, just grass over there. And that's my neighbor's house over there. I don't need to have insulation here unless I want to pay for it, which is pretty darn expensive. It just depends on, you know, what you're willing to pay and what your budget is for the house. So this is an explanation about insulation. I'm really happy with the progress of that. Like I said, I've already submitted for an inspection so that I can do drywall. So we'll be having that drywall install or sheetrock install, whatever you may call it here very soon. Um, everything is kind of back order right now. So I'm making sure I'm getting material on site, then getting those guys here. I've already got a quote, got a proposal, what it's gonna cost to get done. So anyways, why not give you all a cool few shots and then we're gonna end this video out. Okay, so I wanna jump back in the house real quick because you may be thinking, okay, you got everything insulated around, what about the top? What are you gonna insulate the roof with and everything like that? How are you gonna keep the ceiling from the air and everything going up and down because the attic is right there. However, so the game plan is, you gotta get the drywall done first. So you'll obviously have the drywall running right there, you know, horizontally or however you wanna call that, up against the ceiling, and then they'll come in afterwards to be able to blow that in. And it kind of looks like this, I mean, it's fiberglass and it's usually white. That's what I've always experienced. It doesn't look pink like that. So it could be pink, could be white. I don't know, I've always seen the white one. And they actually blow it in on top there. So then that becomes that barrier of fiberglass um, to keep your inside of your house separated from the attic air. Cause sometimes in the summer, if you've ever gone in your attic, you could literally pass out. It's like a sauna times 10 and a hot tub included. So it's like being in the desert in Dubai in the middle of summer, which I have been and that was pretty darn hot. So they will be blowing the top of that, getting the rest of the house, you go kind of excluded from that outside 
outside air, but then everything's gonna be nice and regulated with the HVAC system. You know, that's the point of getting insulation. It allows you to save money, to have good energy within the house, to just live comfortably. And that's the whole point of building a nice custom home is that you have what you want and that your house is regulated the right way. Alrighty y'all, so that will be the end of the insulation on, I guess like a part one of it because they still gotta come back, do the drywall and then blow in the top of that for me. So I am really happy with how everything turned out. They actually showed up and did this within like five hours. It didn't take long at all. It was two guys. They were killing it as you saw in the videos and they did a phenomenal job. They left it clean and I love that. So great company there came out and did it for me, got me plugged in um, with everything going on right now. It's really hard to get, you know, on people's schedules and things like that. So I am grateful for that opportunity to be able to get them to come out here. But however, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on all social platforms, but especially TikTok because it's so easy to film, edit and post on there. If you haven't yet, check out Nico's property show com grab me some merch and use code nico for 10 percent off your entire order without further ado smile more worry less and stay blessed i'll see you in my next video peace